Alright, uh, YouTube. So I haven't uh, show, told anyone what I've been doing lately, so... For my bedroom, I'm gonna do two E8 V3s on a... It, I bought a RE Audio DTS 1500. It does uh, 1000 watts at 1 ohm and uh, 700 at 2 ohm, so we'll see how that does. I just didn't really want to spend money. But I got that refurbished, so it's in the mail right now. But I just received the second E8 V3 today, and I'll show you that in a second. And I'll show you what else I got new. Alright, so here's the second E8 V3. If you can see, I put my box in the corner of my bedroom. I could just got it hooked up on my rock for an amp. Uh, the sound streams, I don't know why, it makes a... It, uh, a dump noise when you shut it off. I, I thought it would be a ground or something, but I guess it's not that, so whatever. Okay, that's better. Uh, so there's the first original one, and looks like this box is going to go bye-bye, so that was a good waste of time. But yeah, and if you live near me in North Providence, Rhode Island, and you want the box, you could probably have it for 10 bucks. So, I don't care. <laughs> it's hooked up right there. Power supply. I'm getting another power supply that pushes 850 watts to the 12 volt rail. So, that'll work real good. So. Yep, Katy Perry. Future wife. Oh. What the hell? Another decal. I just love Lion subs. It's real fun. If I can grab this sucker. I'm, I switched my order from uh, the X12 to the X15 because that fits. So that's going to be sweet. I'm going to try to fit it in a 4 cubic foot box uh, tuned to 30 hertz via a uh, 6 inch arrow. So hopefully I get to move some air. I would love to pull a hair trick or something close to it. I think these E8 V3s, I mean, just spend the freaking money. People are always on the cheap side. To me, it's a really good sub, and I don't like, well, I would have got SAs, but I didn't really want to spend 200 close to that. So, this is going to be the best bang for the buck. 8 inch sub and it can handle it could you could put it up against a 10 or maybe a 12 these things really pound in the T line it works great so this is just my short update of what I'm doing and uh uh <laughs> go show the car show you guys the car next oh. so I don't know, two, two and a half weeks old. I like it way a lot better than the coupe. There's a usable back seat besides and trunk space, so. I don't know if you can't can see it that well, but. It's got the, basically the SI engine. It's got 
184, 85 pounds of torque. And uh, one less horsepower, 189 horsepower. Holds ass for a four cylinder sedan. It's got, uh, it's like uh, some different type of cloth. It's nice. And it needs to be vacuumed there. Six speed. It's got an eight, eight inch screen, I believe. It has Bluetooth. I'm going to be changing the speakers too. I'm going to get JBLs. I forgot. Not the GTO, the next one up. And yeah. And I'm going to amp those up. Get my gut decaf, some down, Ellis. Comes with 18s. What I really like about the car. There's so much less wheel gap. It's about three fingers. Before, the car looked like a 4x4. And my dad wouldn't let me lower it. So, now the trunk's pretty big. Yep, I fish. Nothing special for fishing. But. And I golf. Work at a golf course. So, I can fit everything back here. And when the sub, when I get the... 15 it's probably gonna come about like right there the box I got 28 20 and a half inches wide with the sport has the deck lid spoiler if you can tell I put my plates back on it comes with the dual uh, exhaust the same as the v6 the sport rims just different from your EX, they're bigger too. The 17s look like donuts. It's come, it's got uh, the fog lights. Uh, yeah, blacks. I wanted black. I looked at that. The sports only come in gray and black. I think black's the nicest. Uh, it is the nicest when clean. It's just a bitch to keep clean. But yeah, that's. That's it. And I'm just still trying to sell my E12s, so if you want those, hit me up. Alright, that's all for now, and I'll get back to you guys later.